Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. I'm gonna get emotional. This is so hard. It is the final installment of the best skincare of 2023. <laughs> You guys, what a run it has been. If you've been watching every single one of the best of 2023 videos, I am so proud of you. I'm so grateful for you. We've made it to the end. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the best sunscreens of 2023. I have to say this video is the one that I am most excited for because hello, it's sunscreen. Also, you guys might be wondering, I did dye my hair. I will give you a full update in my Korea vlog, but basically my hair kind of got up. I don't know how it happened, but this is what the back of my head looked like. And basically because of how damaged my hair already was, I needed to just completely go dark. So I decided to go black. I know a bunch of you guys have been requesting it. Like I said, I'll tell you the full story in my Korea vlog. That's not what this video is about. I just want to get into the best sunscreens of 2023. And I'm so excited for this because this year I have two new categories I'm featuring. One, a sunscreen that was your guys' favorite, the one that you were most interested in talking about and purchased. And number two, a sunscreen under $20. Because I I want to make sure you're set up for success with your sunscreen, even if you don't have a lot of money to spend. And before I get into all the sunscreens, I do want to say that all the products I'm going to be talking about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you do feel like purchasing any of them, I would really appreciate if you shop from those links. I put a lot of time and energy into sunscreens. I think I bought more sun, well, no, I know I bought more sunscreens than any other skincare product this year. You guys truly have no idea how many sunscreens I purchased this year. It's actually kind of ridiculous. For this video specifically, I think in the last month alone I bought like eight new sunscreens so if you do feel like supporting me and the channel I would really appreciate it if you use those links but without further ado let's get into the best sunscreens of 2023 okay let's start I want to start with the sunscreen that blew me away the most this year I did not necessarily expect to love but oh my god I am completely obsessed with it and want to use this sunscreen forever and that is the beauty of Joseon SPF 50 stick sunscreen you guys have seen me talk about this in a few recent videos but it's relatively new on my channel, although it went super viral on TikTok and I'd seen it going viral for a while and I've just never really been a stick sunscreen person until I started using this product because my experience with stick sunscreens has always been very greasy, white cast heavy, not necessarily the most pleasant to use and always making my skin super oily. But let me tell you that this product is magic in a stick. I don't know how else to say it. The first time I used this product, I was like, how does this exist? And why the hell have I waited so long to use it? It is absolutely incredible and let me tell you the reasons why. The first reason is that it's a Korean sunscreen, which means it uses Korean sunscreen filters, which are not yet permitted in sunscreen products in the USA, but are so much better than anything we have here because it doesn't create a white cast on the skin at all, which means if you have a darker skin tone, a deeper complexion, this product is great for you, just very oily on the skin. This one not only applies with such a nice lightweight consistency, but it actually mattifies the skin, which is why I fell so in love with it because you guys know if you're applying a bunch of skincare products and you apply a greasy sunscreen on top of it, your skin can tend to look just like really overly shiny. And particularly if you're gonna be reapplying your sunscreen throughout the day, which I know y'all are doing, a more glowy sunscreen can tend to look greasy really quick. And this one looks so good on the skin that I could always count on reapplying it multiple times throughout the day without worrying about if my skin was gonna look greasy or shiny. It's $18, can work for any skin type, but I feel like people with oily skin are definitely gonna appreciate it the most. With awesome ingredients like green tea oil, to help soothe sensitivity and redness, turmeric, which has dark spot brightening abilities, and a ton of vegetable extracts that are rich in antioxidants to help protect your skin from free radical damage throughout the day. But truly where it takes the cake is the formula because I've never seen another stick sunscreen or just even another sunscreen in general perform like this one does. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend and there's a reason why it's so viral because it's f***ing awesome. The next sunscreen is actually another stick sunscreen that I was very impressed with for a little bit of different reasons. It is the Coats Mineral Sun Stick SPF 45. Now this one was a shocker because it is a mineral sunscreen. And let me tell you, I have used so many mineral sunscreens, mineral sun sticks, and for the majority of them, they are just so greasy and white cast rich on the skin, particularly sun sticks, which is why I just haven't really enjoyed using them very much in the past. Because the whole reason that you wanna use a sun stick right is because you don't wanna have to rub it into your skin. You just wanna be able to swipe and go. And for the majority of mineral sun sticks out there, I will apply it and end up having to rub it into my face just to get rid of the white cast. And the reasons I chose to include this one is first, the ingredients, it has titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, as well as ginger root oil, an amazing antioxidant ingredient. 
It applies on the skin in such a nice way. And while it is a little bit heavier than the Beauty of Josan Stick sunscreen, I personally have enjoyed using this one when my skin needs a little bit of extra moisture, whether I'm in dry areas or traveling. This one provides a really nice sheer base that adds a tiny bit of glow, but not anything that makes you nervous about my skin getting too greasy and a tiny bit of color correction due to the minimal tint in it, which I personally love. I've talked about tinted sunscreen so much here on my channel. I don't imagine it'll work for the deepest skin tones, but Coats does have options for different shades of skin tones, all with mineral sunscreens. So I'd suggest you check them out. But the main reason I chose to include this one is because of the size of the sunscreen. It is $24, but has more product than other stick sunscreens that I've used. Typically I found with a lot of other products that if you want a good experience, you're kind of paying a lot for a very small product. And this one has a really good amount. It lasts a long time, provides that protection and minimal coverage. And it's just a very impressive formula in a world of mineral sunscreens that tend to look like shit on the skin. Now, I know I mentioned stick sunscreens, which are amazing for reapplication, but I do want to mention that for me personally, I love using stick sunscreens as a way to reapply sunscreens, but not as my base. The reason being that the best type of sunscreen protection you can get is from a cream formula. It's the best way to ensure that you're getting an even amount of coverage over the entirety of your face. So I want to get into my favorite cream sunscreens. The Cynic SPF 50 sunscreen. Also a Korean sunscreen, and it's only $7 seven freaking dollars that is absolutely insane the most affordable sunscreen for such a high quality experience i always have this one with me because the formula is so lightweight it's a gel consistency that quickly absorbs into the skin with absolutely no white cast and it has a great ingredient list with propanediol to moisturize the skin niacinamide to help support the skin's barrier hyaluronic acid for hydration and green tea also for soothing redness and sensitivity but again the reason i include this product is because of the experience it's one of those products that when you apply it to the skin, you're like, how is this a sunscreen? I feel like in the US, we're all collectively traumatized by the typical experience of applying a thick, heavy white sunscreen on our face. And this could not be more so the opposite with its gel texture, lightweight consistency and fast absorbing ability. But the main reason I love recommending it is because it is so affordable. I mean, $7, you just can't beat that price point. It really is awesome. When I was in Korea, I bought two more bottles. Love, love, love this one. Another cream sunscreen I love, and this will come to nobody's surprise because I've talked about this one on my channel for years, and you're probably gonna roll your eyes hearing it, I don't blame you, but the Bliss Block Star SPF 30. This is my personal favorite drugstore sunscreen. As y'all know, it is not easy finding a good sunscreen at the drugstore, but I've always been so impressed with this formula because of how well it mattifies the skin and doesn't look too oily or greasy, as well as its tint. I can always count on this one to help provide kind of like a corrective nature to my face, almost like a tinted moisturizer, but not as heavy as a tinted moisturizer because I'm not a big fan of those. Typically too much coverage. And I also like that the tint works on a variety of skin tones because it isn't too heavy or prevalent. This is a $25 sunscreen that you can find at Target, Ulta, other drugstores with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, as well as antioxidant rich ingredients like blueberry, acai, green tea extract. I do want to call out one ingredient. It does have lavender essential oil, which I personally don't mind because the smell is very light. Lavender is like the least irritating out of all the essential oils. And it's the only one, but I do want to call that one out for anyone who does have super sensitive skin to essential oils. But I've always loved recommending this one because you guys are always asking like, what sunscreen can I find at the drugstore that's good? And I can always stand by this formula. It's a solid one. Next is another tinted sunscreen that I have been using so regularly since I discovered it. I truly have fallen in love with it. The Coats Face Prime and Protect SPF 40 Mineral Sunscreen. Now this one is a little bit different than sunscreens I have typically used or recommended on my channel because it is in a primer-like consistency and definitely has more coverage than any of the other sunscreens I've recommended. So if you're not into the primer feel products or the tinted sunscreen look, then I would say this isn't for you. But if that's your alley, I highly recommend this one because of how good it looks on the skin. I am not a makeup gal. It's not my journey, but this is the perfect sunscreen for that midpoint between makeup and SPF. It provides coverage for almost like that tinted moisturizer look, but because of the primer base, it does such a good job of controlling controlling excess oiliness and creating a mattified look. So that way your sunscreen doesn't look too greasy or heavy. This sunscreen is $27. It's a mineral sunscreen, only including
including titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. It is a silicone rich formula because of that like primer consistency, but operates so well for like that tinted moisturizer look or even as a base for your makeup. Plus, like I said before, Coats offers multiple shades for different skin tones, which is so rare to see a mineral sunscreen company do that. But I've thoroughly enjoyed using this sunscreen when I'm going to events, when I wanna look snatched, when I want my skin to look a little bit more even, mattified clear, like this sunscreen really does transform the face. And again, that's coming from someone who does not enjoy wearing makeup. And so if you're someone who's interested in kind of that midpoint between the two, I would highly recommend this product. And for the final sunscreen, I am going to share your guys' favorite sunscreen this year. This is the one that you guys were most interested in, purchasing the most, talking about the most. It is unsurprisingly the Beauty of Jason SPF 50 sunscreen. I have recommended this so many times on my channel and it truly blows me away seeing the numbers of how many of you guys clicked on the links in my videos for this product. Like does not even compare to any of the other products I mentioned. It is an absolutely beautiful formula and the ingredient list does not disappoint. This is an $18 sunscreen that features 30% rice extract. 30%. Amazing. Rice being such a good ingredient for hydrating the skin as well as niacinamide and green tea extract. And for all of you out there who are like, Hiram, a lot of your recommendations are more so for oily skin or not looking too glowy or shiny, but I want the glow. This is the sunscreen for you because it's a Korean sunscreen. It doesn't have any white cast whatsoever, which is one of the reasons why it's gotten so popular on TikTok, but it offers this beautiful, glowy, healthy look to the skin, but still in a lightweight enough consistency that it doesn't feel like your skin can't breathe. I'm honestly comfortable recommending it for combination all the way to dry skin and this beautiful gentle glow. It's a stunning formula and it's so cool to see how much you guys have loved it. And it makes me very happy because I think for a lot of the other videos that I filmed for this series, seeing your guys' favorite products are kind of been like, oh, that surprised me a little bit, but this one did not surprise me at all. It really is a stunning formula. It deserves all the hype it gets and just a great option if you want a clear sunscreen that works while adding a nice minimal glow to your face. And there you have it, folks, the best sunscreens of 2023. I really hope you guys enjoyed this list. I worked really hard and tried so many formulas, so many disappointments, so much money wasted. Well, not wasted. It's all worth it in finding the best formulas for you guys. But these are truly my top picks. And I'm personally so happy that a lot of these formulas don't break the bank because man, it is hard to find a good sunscreen that is not like crazy expensive. Like I said before, all the products are going to be linked below. If you do want to check them out and do some shopping, I would really appreciate the support. If you haven't seen the other best of 2023 videos, I will have them all linked down below. Make sure you check them out because I had so much fun making them and trying so many products to find the absolute best for you guys. And if you've made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support, for watching these videos, listening to my recommendations. Like your guys' trust means so much to me. And it is truly an honor to test out all these products for you guys, even if it does mean that my skin went through a lot of sensitivity and breakout sessions because of how many products I was using. It was all worth it for your guys' support. And I hope you can walk away from these videos with a solid skincare routine. Stay glowing, babes. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.